Hello friends, welcome to another video of Advanced Excel for Visually Impaired by Accessible Computing YouTube channel. Friends, I hope you are all well and you are doing good. So today we are going to discuss about the transpose feature in MS Excel. This is a very amazing and important feature for all of us. So friends, those who are new to this channel, Please subscribe this channel and you can join our telegram channel also. The telegram channel link is in the video description below. And those who don't know about Excel, they can visit the playlist link. I would recommend you to visit all the previous videos which we have already uploaded in the advanced Excel for visually impaired series. Then you can easily understand what is MS Excel and how it performs with screen reader so friends without any delay let's start today's episode data transpose option basically used to change the appearance of data for example here i am in a sheet there is mobile name a1 name mobile number e1 mobile number salary c1 salary mobile name a1 so if I press down arrow, Rajiv A2, A2 and A2, there's a first name Rajiv, Raju A3, Raju, Shilpa A4, Shilpa Heroes A5. Okay. So all the names are now arranged in a vertical way. I mean top to bottom, one below the others. But I need all the names in a horizontal way. I mean now the names are arranged row by row but i need all the names in column by column how to do this for doing this you have to apply the data transpose option how to do that before doing this i need to select the data so from a2 i need to select at the end i'm pressing shift plus control plus down arrow to select the data Control shift down arrow select A2 Rajiv A8 Neil. So A2 to A8 I have selected. Now I am copying the data. Copied. I have already opened a new workbook. So let me switch to that. One Excel sheet one empty sheet blank A1. So this is a blank workbook. Blank B1 blank A1. So I need to paste all the names here. If I press Control plus V then the name is or the names are pasted in vertical way nothing will change but i need all the names in a horizontal way for this now i am in a a1 a1 right so i am pressing alt plus control plus v to open the paste special dialog box alternatively you can find this dialog box from home tab i am pressing alt plus control plus v alt control v paste special paste special paste all radio button checked one of twelve to change the selection press up or down arrow alt plus a this is a dialog box so first option is what format should i choose so i need to paste everything so by default it's all radio button checked I'm pressing tab. Operation, operation, none radio button checked. Operation five, none. It's okay. I'm pressing tab again. Skip blanks checkbox not checked. Skip check press blanks. Space bar, I'm pressing e. tab again. Transpose checkbox not checked. The check press space bar. Alt plus E. Transpose checkbox not checked. So you have to press the space bar here to check this box. Space checked. After that, I'm pressing tab. Okay button to activate press space bar. Yes, I'm hitting space bar or enter key on OK button and the data will be entered as horizontally let's check space select a1 rajiv g1 neil selected range a1 rajiv g1 neil rajiv a1 rajiv a1 if i press down arrow blank a2 if i used control plus v to paste so the next name must be appeared in the blank a2 a2 but as i have applied transpose option so the names are arranged in a horizontal way. Rajiv A1. Rajiv 
Then I'm pressing right arrow. Raju D1. Raju. Shilpa C1. Shilpa. Virat D1. Vishal E1. Camel F1. Neil D1. Lang H1. Okay. So now according to their names, I can add any data, anything. This is all about data transports. I hope this short video can help you a lot. If really, why are you waiting for? Press the subscribe button. If you're new, press the like button. And don't forget to let me know your valuable opinion in the comment section. This is for today. See you soon in the next video. Till then, stay safe. Take care. This is Ratul signing off.